so we have a real treat for you today as we're going to read you something from our rhyming bible we love our rhyming yeah. bible so this story is called when my fears are giant sized and there are verses and there's choruses and i'd love you to help me with the actions when it comes to the chorus the chorus goes like this it goes god help me beat a lion and when i say the word lion i want you to give me my best lion impression Rah! it really fits and then it says god help me beat a bear bear and so when my fears are giant sized when i say giant sized you make really big arms i trust that god is there have you got there? So lion, rah, bear, giant sized, and God is there. Okay, so I'm going to read the verse. When we get to that bit, you can have to step in, okay? So David took his brothers a lunch of cheese and bread. Soldiers on a battlefield, they needed to be fed. That's when he spied a giant foot. Have you got a picture of the giant foot there? And leg and arm and head, and heard the giant's challenge, and bravely stood and said, God, help me beat a lion. God, help me beat a bear. So when my fears are giant-sized, oh, I trust that God is there. You cannot fight that giant, his frightened brothers cried. He'll squash you like an insect. He's more than twice your size. You're just a little shepherd boy. You should be terrified. But David knew that God would help, and that's why he replied. God, Help me beat a lion. God help me beat a bear. So when my fears are giant sized, I trust that God is there. So David went and told the king, I'll take the giant's dare. Then have my armour, said the king, it's standing over there. When David tried it on, he found it much too hard to wear. A sling and stones is all I need, he said. Well, and a prayer. God help me beat a lion god help me beat a bear so when my fears are giant sized i trust that god is there the giant looked at david oh look you can see his face now he looked rather brutish he growled and cursed and roared you send this stick sized boy against my spear and shield and sword i'll beat him away without trying then feed him to the birds but david reached inside the pouch where his five stones were stored God help me beat a lion. God help me beat a bear. So when I, my fears are giant sized, I trust that God is there. The giant rushed towards him, his face an angry red. David swung his sling and aimed straight for the giant's head. That small stone struck its target. The giant fell down dead. And as his brothers clapped and cheered, David simply said, God help me beat a lion. God help me beat a bear. So when my fears are giant size, oh, I trust that God is there. Hi everyone. Hello. Hello. So I've got Eliza and Daisy here with me to help me with this craft activity. And for this craft activity, you'll need a piece of paper. Have you got your paper or card or anything you've got that you can draw on? I know I've got colourful backs, but what you need is a plain size. What blue, blue? You'd like the blue one, Chris? Up. Okay. Stop. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you like we red. need some pens. And I like blue. You like blue, don't you? Pens and Ooh. crayons. Uh, Play doh might do. We've even got some pasta here. Um, and you need something. What shape's this? Yeah. What shape's this? Right, it's a circle, isn't it? You need something you can make a nice circle so that when you put but it on your paper. If it's long, but if it's long, it's a cylinder. Cylinder. That's right. We just need something to draw around. So you put your round thing on and you get your pen and you draw around and I've done I fit I fit three faces these are our faces three circles three faces on your piece of paper have you already got one on your side Daisy can you see it you turn your piece of paper over can you see your three circles that's it so today we're going to be drawing some faces now when we're drawing our faces we're going to be thinking about how the face how that person that we're drawing is feeling so if they were happy what might they have on their face might they have? A smile. A big yeah. smile. They might have a big smile on their face and their eyes might be really excited. You might draw some excited eyes and you might be really happy and excited for going back to school on Monday. Yeah. I know two girls who are. But maybe you're not feeling happy and excited. Maybe you're feeling a bit worried. 
What might you draw on your face if you're feeling a bit worried? I might draw... Would you draw like a bit of a wibbly wobbly mouth, a bit worried? Ooh. Yeah, I'm not really sure about that. Your eyebrows might I'm be a bit down. I'm going to be... Beard? You're going to have a beard on your face? Oh, you can yeah. definitely draw a head. Um, And a smiley mouth. So you can draw it with your pens. We've got play doh because if you feel if you want to do it more tactile, you can draw, you can make your face with making little beady eyes and getting a sausage of play doh and doing a nice long mouth. And you can do it with play doh. And if you want to use the pasta, you wonder where I've got that. Again, you can do it. You could have big frowny this eyebrows with pasta beard. and a pasta that's mouth. The beard. Whatever you've got in your house, you can make a face with. So. Or you've got a beard going on there so we're going to we're going to have fun making our faces and thinking about how the people are feeling now, i think the first one i'm going to do is going to be happy do you think i should do a happy one i'm going to do a happy one fight for going back to school for going back yeah. to school are you feeling excited and happy about going back to school eliza yeah and, and look at the beard and look at the smiley mouth and smiley mouth have they got any eyes how would their eyes be so they're happy they're being really wide open and big eyes mm. oh. Oh, That's a good eye. My... Oh, mine's definitely very yeah. excited and happy. I'm looking yeah. forward to seeing my friends again. Daisy, are you looking forward to seeing your friends at preschool next week? This I is think the you tummy. This is the tummy. Is that the tummy? Oh, is it like a snowman? You've got the top one's the head, and then that's one the tummy, and then the bottom one. What's on the other bottom oh, one? Legs. Legs, okay. I've got one very happy person. They're so happy their hair's standing on end. Oh, fantastic. They haven't got any arms though, Daisy. If they were happy, what would their arms be doing? Would their arms be going, yay, yay. Hooray. Hooray. That's a My yes, happy person. Yay. <gasps> yeah, that's really good. Yay, their arms are going, yay. There's my happy person. I'm going to be doing a bit of a frowning person next. They're not so happy. They're a bit worried and concerned about going. Well, I hope you enjoyed that craft activity. We certainly did. And hopefully you've thought about how those different faces you were drawing were feeling when you were drawing them. Maybe they were confused or happy. So we're going to finish today with a prayer, a back to school prayer for all those starting school on Monday. Dear Lord, use my eyes to see new friends. Open my ears to hear my teacher. Open my mind to learn new things. Let my heart remember you are near when I'm afraid. Help me to love others just like you. I want to shine your light so bright in my school. Amen. Well, it was lovely seeing you all here today and I hope you have a great week and a great start back at school on Monday. See you soon. Bye.